Finally, time to get into some Halloween costumes. Hey, I'm Janelle, and this is To DIY For. I do new DIYs every Wednesday, so if you're not already subscribed, check out my channel. And if you're here for Halloween content, I have got a ton of Halloween costume ideas. Every year, I do, you know, on average, three costumes. Usually, they are fairly on trend for the season. Now, this movie didn't come out this year, but we did get like an inside sneak peek into the Barbie film that will be released next year. Ryan Gosling, Margot Robbie, and I absolutely loved their outfits where they were caught, you know, out filming, I think somewhere in LA. So this costume I thought was pretty easy to put together. And when I started doing it, I was like, mm, I own almost everything to put this together. So it could be an easy one for you to just whip together. Not a whole lot of DIY involved in it, but I'll show you the aspects of the costume that I DIY'd and maybe some alternate on some ideas that you could do instead. Let's get into this DIY. So I'm starting with some bright pink biker shorts that I already owned and this bathing suit. Now it's not exactly the same, but I think it gives the same vibe that she has in her outfit. And a one piece bathing suit, check the thrift store because that could be a key to this uh, whole outfit for you. Or just find a, uh, a white bodysuit and then you could easily tie dye it or something like that. Same with the head, uh, the, um, the visor. That was a thrift find that I had for a different outfit. And I thought it worked perfectly for this you could find a white one and you could you know marker it up you could paint it or something to kind of have that same you know look that she has with her so i would highly recommend trying to thrift those items the last piece here that i thrifted was just some bright neon clothing maybe leggings would work for you i found this bright men's shirt and what i did was cut off the sleeves to create my elbow pads and i am doing no sewing no gluing nothing here simply just folding the fabric in on itself three times to kind of create this cuff that then i'll slide up my arm to give me the illusion that i have the elbow pads not perfect but this is just a halloween costume and I think it's such a simple little way to get the effect and I just kind of tuck it into itself and it sits actually quite snug and tight on my arm that I think it would be totally fine for an entire evening to wear this. So I did that with the two sleeves and then with the body of this shirt I'm just going to cut it into two pieces here and then I'm going to cut that so I have two very long strips and then these are going to be used for the knee pads. So what I did here if you you know are a volleyball player you could use knee pads or even if you you know rollerblade yourself use your knee pads and then you can just simply tuck in the fabric and wrap it around to cover it up to give you that bright neon look of the knee pads. These are actually just knee braces that I thought worked perfectly. Again just tucking that fabric up and in. This is a simple quick way to throw this costume together and I think it's pretty uh, efficient. Here it all is kind of put together. Now, obviously she's in rollerblades. I will tell you that the thrift store did have a ton of rollerblades available. I didn't buy them because I don't know how to rollerblade and this is definitely not a practical thing for me to wear for Halloween. Um, maybe if you're taking the kids out trick or treating and you're gonna roller skate you know, from house to house, that might work, but I would be wearing this at a house party and obviously not wearing that at someone's house. So I paired it with just like some white shoes that I thought were kind of the vibe for the outfit. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out and it was really quick and easy to throw together. Let me know what you thought of this DIY costume.